about half done with my snow shoveling this morning. Some of you guys might ask why the paths are so wide. That would be because on a normal winter here, this is the, the lowest snow winter we've had in many, many years actually. Um, and you can see that as of today, the, uh, in places my snow pile's already up to my waist. Um, last year at this time, the snow piles were up here. So I always start with my paths really wide because I do have to carry things around here like water jugs or gas cans and a bag of groceries, whatever. And if you only have a, a footpath this wide, that works fine probably if the snow is maybe below here, but once it's here or here, you can't very well shovel a pathway like this. So I always start with them wide just in case uh, we get lots of snow, which is usually the case. We have about 16 inches in the last uh, 24 hours. It's the first really big storm we have had this winter. Like I said, it's been way below um, normal for our snowfall. And I'm going to finish getting my place shoveled out. And I got three or four or five neighbors' places to do. So that's what I'm off to do. And if you guys are hearing that occasional uh, big thumping womp in the background, that is explosives. Um, around here they're used to control avalanches on roads and um, ski resorts and areas where people are going to frequent so that the snow will slide when people are out of the area and hopefully not kill anybody. So they've been bombing all morning since before I got up. Um, but if you're hearing bomb noises in the background, you're not losing your mind. That is indeed what's going on. But no, thankfully, I don't live in a war zone. Just avalanche control. still appears to be scared of anything with a handle. I don't know if somebody in the past before I had her used to hit her, but anytime I've got a broom or a shovel, um, she is nervous about it. So just taking it slow and I do my thing and tell her, you know, no one's going to hit you with it. I'm going to shovel. It's not going to attack you. Um, so hopefully she's able to relax over time about that and, and realize that's not going to happen. But she is still pretty jumpy about any handled things. But I got a lot of snow to shovel. I use rakes, I use hose, um, so she's going to, over time here, have to learn that she's not going to get hit with them if that is what happened before. Some of you guys also wonder about snow up against the house. For me, in this climate, it makes a pretty good skirting for warmth and insulation in the winter, so I do leave it there. Um, I've been doing this for four years now. The snow is so dry here, I do not seem to get any moisture damage against the house, especially because as it warms up and the snow starts to melt, it will um, kind of fall back from the house, so there's, there never seems to be moisture sitting up against the house. So now my house is finally skirted off and sealed, like it normally would have been months ago if we'd had a normal amount of snow, um, but that just sits there. If it gets up level with the windows, I do um, shovel it clean there because I want to be able to see out the windows and I wouldn't want any moisture to be able to leak in around my window frames from snow sitting there. But um, I do that, and if you're wondering why I shovel all the paths I do around here, it's just because I have to get to my house, my van, the wood pile, my generator, uh, my tool shed, and several vents around the house. Uh, I detail all those if you want to go check out, I think it's my most watched video actually, of can you live in a tiny house in a cold climate, um, where I go into some of that in more detail. But that's why I shovel all this, and that's why there is snow up against the base of my tiny house. People also wonder about needing to clear snow off my roof. Um, with my tiny house and a metal roof, that is not an issue. You can see the slightly steeper sloped portion has mostly slid already. That was coming off in big humps during the night. And uh, the dormer area where the angle is more shallow 
uh, has not completely come off. It's actually hanging in a big sheet down over the window there, but it's going to come down in just a little bit. And like I said, I'm in my uh, fourth winter of, of living here and I have never had any issue with needing to clean snow off of my roof, even though last winter especially I did a lot of snow cleaning on roofs for other people with bigger roofs and um, less uh, steeply angled roofs. So that's just not been an issue with a, a small roof space, metal roof, and um, the the total volume of roof. It, it has plenty of room to slide off. So pretty much done snow shoveling around my place. You probably saw me clear off the little solar panel over there on my shed roof from a motion detector light. Um, and Grizzly and I are going to march up the hill and use my broom to dust the snow off my big solar panels that power the house. Just looking down on my clearing from up above. You can only halfway see my house down there. Got that shoveled out. Usually boot pack up this hill. Grizzly tags along with me for everything. And there's my solar panels that I'm going to clean off carefully. It's another avalanche control bomb. Given that it's very overcast today and snowing, I'm not going to get a lot of light anyway, but I want to keep them clean because even on an overcast day, you do get a little bit. So I'm going to just dust them off with my broom and then probably use the shovel to, to clear away a little bit of the snow that piles up around the bottom so that there's room to keep removing snow from them. There you can see a quick comparison between my clean one and my not clean one. There is a tiny bit of ice particles left on the clean one and a few snowflakes because it is obviously still snowing. But um, that's going to melt off pretty quick if there is any warmth or sunlight because it's not crazy cold out here so I'm not worried about it. Gonna clean that one off as well. And yes, I am aware I can use like rain -X and various things to help them shed snow, but they, they do a pretty good job here because our snow is so dry and fluffy. Um, this snow would have all fallen off on its own. I just wanted it to go now. Like I said, even on a overcast day, you get some uh, some solar power coming through, but not so much if you've got a foot of snow on top of the panel. So here we go. Then there's the fun that when you just get done cleaning everything from snow, the last chunk that was on your roof decides to uh, dump down in front of your door and you get to clean that up as well. As I said, in a minute here, I'm going to go, I'm going to be shoveling for several neighbors, got a couple older folks around and you know, help them and um, work for a few people. Plus, I've got one neighbor who does plow my driveway out to the uh, road, which is awesome. And so I help him with some stuff at his house and some of his other responsibilities so he has the time to plow my lane out for me because I don't have tractors and giant tractor snow blowers and uh, truck plows and all that. And so that seems to work out okay as a trade for us. It only takes him a few minutes to swing over here and do my lane and I help him with some of his stuff so that he's got the time to come do that. So I'm going to clean up the last little bit of snow in front of the door. Lucy looks like she's about over the snow shoveling and ready to go back and nap on the couch. And we'll be off to the neighbors. Thanks for watching folks! If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time!